Hello, I'm Alex Whitfield, Chief Executive of Hampshire Hospitals. I'm here to introduce our engagement exercise on our new trust strategy. The strategy is going to take us from 2022 to 2028. And we've been doing some work about um, talking to people about working out what are the key themes we need for our hospital strategy to take us forward. We've come up with five key strategic themes and we want your views on whether these are the right things and how they land with you. They're underpinned by our values, our care values about compassion, accountability, respect and encouragement that are really important to everybody at Hampshire Hospitals. And we want to know what you think. Are they the right things for us to be focusing on over the next seven years? We want to deliver high quality and safe care. We want to do that by making sure we give the best possible outstanding care to our patients that is safe and effective. We're also looking excitingly at the future and how we might reconfigure our services to make sure we've got the best model of care for our patients in the future. It's really important for us that we do this in a co-produced way with our patients, the public, the families and our staff. In order to achieve the best possible patient experience, we want to promote a proactive patient safety culture. As part of our efforts to improve the timeliness of patient access to diagnostics and treatment, we want to provide the consistently high standard of care and improve our productivity. Finally, we'll put a special focus on streamlining a care across all of our own services and integrating with other acute services and providers across the healthcare system. We will offer patients a more coordinated experience throughout the whole of their journey as we deliver the right care in the right place at the right time. As part of this key theme, the implementation of the clinical strategy that we co-developed with you will play a fundamental role in helping us to achieve our vision. Making HHFT a great place to work is the second of our strategic themes. We're a large and important employer in the communities that we serve with more than 8,000 people and our staff base goes beyond just our staff themselves. We engage with local groups, we engage with volunteers, and we couldn't do the work we do without everybody that's involved with HHFT. To do our best work, to provide the best possible care for our patients, we have to build a culture where people can bring their best selves to work. One that's inclusive, one that reflects the communities that we serve, and one that places things like wellbeing and career development at the very top of our priority list. We do brilliant work every single day and to enable us to do even greater work in the future we will come together as one team HHFT to support each other regardless of discipline, backgrounds and professions and to do that we will continue to build a culture that we can all feel very very proud of. We will be working with all partners in the Hampshire and Isle of Wight integrated care system to coordinate, plan and deliver services to achieve the triple aim of improving health and well-being for everyone, quality of care for all patients and sustainable use of NHS resources as well as to reduce inequalities between different groups. Our aim is to provide care closer to people's home, supporting them to manage long-term conditions and to live with dignity and independence at home and in the community. We will coordinate with primary care, community, mental health, social care providers, local government authorities and the voluntary sector, placing an emphasis on preventative health and early intervention. Our strategy will look to address health inequalities for the vulnerable, groups of people with protected characteristics, deprived and excluded communities. We are responsible for the resources that are allocated to us and we are responsible to deliver outstanding services from that. But they are a constraint on us as well. Most of our resources come from public allocations and that is to a large extent outside our power. But what is within our power is the ability to operate as efficiently as we can and as productively as we can. That creates more rocket fuel to put behind our strategy. All of it within the resources that are allocated to us and to expand those resources as much as we can. 
finally, we are in ourselves a big economic entity. We want to make the best use of our power as, an, as a big economic entity for ethical sourcing of our materials, for really good employment practice for, for our colleagues within the Trust. We are really aware of how our everyday actions, decisions and activity can have a negative impact on the environment and we fully understand that this agenda has to sit firmly within our trust strategy going forward. We've worked really hard over the last six months to engage internally with our staff to help develop a new green plan and that's going to outline what actions we will take over the next three years to address climate change. We do know that it's sometimes difficult to address the link between health and climate change and we hope to talk to as many people as possible um, over the coming months to address this and to help find solutions together. We've got some specific areas that we want to focus on which includes our workforce, how we can deliver care in a more sustainable way, our digital programme and how we can reduce the energy consumption from our buildings. Um, we also know that it's important to uh, look after our green spaces for both people and the natural environment. And we will also look to improve our air quality through projects that reduce our emissions from areas such as anaesthetic gases and travel. We'll look at the food we purchase and serve and how we can embrace a plant-based culture. And finally, we will look to understand how our buildings can transition towards a net zero carbon future and specifically how we can do this with our new hospital. We would really like to hear from you, so please do get involved and give us your feedback as we develop our seven-year strategy. Thank you.